welcome back, you bloody legends. It's Aussie Gamer 17 and we're playing more Elden Ring. Welcome to part 93. All right, here we are at the, uh, wait, what's it called? The Perfumer's Grotto. We're going to clear out Perf Perfumer's Grotto and then go explore more of this area and take out a few more bosses here in the Altus Plateau. Once again, don't know if I'm saying that right. But first things first, we're going to head in through the cave here at the Perfumer's Grotto. Oh, wait, no. First thing is not first. That is not the first thing. First, I'm very, very close to leveling up, I believe. Um, this is where we left off at the end of the last video. I need, if I go into status, I've got 86,900. I need 87,000. Oh, we literally need like a hundred rooms. So I'm just gonna go into my inventory and I am gonna use, oh, something just died. I just got even, wait a minute. I just got some, um, did I literally, I just got runes for standing here. I have no idea what happened guys. I was gonna use a uh, golden rune one, but I don't need to now. Something just died and I got the runes for it. That is a fluke if I've ever seen one. Let's level up. We were spending our points on intelligence. We want to get intelligence all the way up to 80 we're going for. So lots of levels still to spend. Not that we need it. We don't need it, do we? And my lantern is still on. We've got Great Glenstone Shard ready to go, or what I call Pebble. And in we go. All right, when we come out of the cave, or the, the when we find an opening, we are going to find this guy across here, and then three more underneath. Two pebbles each. And two for you. Two for you. And two for him if we can reach from here. We can. Then we swap to Glint Blade. And can we reach him from here? I'll just shoot four for a second and see. Yep, they're reaching. All right. Fill up my FP. See how that goes. Yeah, did him in. Super, super easy. And we drop down here. That guy dropped some loot. That's random. Perfumer robe. Very random, I think. And we can head in here. This isn't random. This is always here. A living jar shard. Yay! Oh, was there something else I missed here? No. Everything is good there. And once we're down here, we look for a little opening off to the north. And... Should be it. Whoops, wrong button. I've been playing um, Sniper Elite 5 and Tunic since I last recorded uh, Elden Ring, so if I'm a bit rusty on the buttons, that's why. We head through the cave. Oh, and there should be another Perfumer before we worry about the flower dude. Hang on, where is it? I can hear him. There, no, that's not him. I'm sure there was, wasn't there? Uh-oh. Did I miss him somehow? All right, well, let's just get the flower then. I'm sure he's in there somewhere. Uh-oh. Can't get me. Oh, I need one more shot at the flower. There we go. And then swap over to Pebble. There should be some uh, smaller flowers down below. Don't know where this perfumer dude is. You get a pebble. Oh, there he is. I found him. Stop looking, guys. I found him. I knew he was there. Hey. Oh, that flower's tougher than normal. All right, there we go. Hey, you. Take that. Ha, ha, ha. Is everyone dead? I think they are. And we hop down. There should be a chest or a couple of chests. Did my notes say? Oh, yeah, chest times two. And we get a perfume, a bottle, and a living jar shard. Seems to be the thing to get here. And, all right, what did you guys give up? Some poison bloom and powder. 
Oakley, Oakley. Um, now there's going to be. Is that centipede guy still here? Let me just check. Let's go through here. Have uh, magic limb blades ready. Oh, I think this is. Oh yeah, he is there. Whoops. Okay, glint blade him. <laughs> Surprise! Big giant centipede, dude. Is he dead already? Yep, that did him in pretty damn easy, didn't it? All right, and then we can go across this branch here. Grab the arterial leaf. Arteria? Arteria? I don't know how to say it. Continue down here. Uh, there's going to be more flowers, more of the little mini ones in here. So let's just um, grab some pebble. So just the two of them. And look what we have here, guys. Four bits of loot. No, I'm not talking about the loot. I'm talking about the boss door. All right, now through here, guys, it is a duo boss fight. It is an omen killer. Pretty simple little fella. Well, he's not that little. He's bigger than us. And one of the giant flowers in the one room. Obviously, the flower doesn't move much, so we're going to take care of the omen killer first. Our plan... Ozzy, that was the wrong button. Our plan is to get out our bloodhound fang. And... We're going to end up using Scholar's Armament on it. And we're also going to use our Physic. So let's use our Physic now. We're going to enter. We're going to release. Um, no, we'll put Scholar's Armament on now. Then I'm going to refill my FP. So that we can definitely unleash Oleg. Um, put our sword in two hands. Take our Physic. Get Oleg ready. Enter. As soon as we enter, we unleash Oleg. He's going to hopefully distract the Omen Killer while we try and take him out a little bit. We'll help out with our Bloodhound's Fang. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, he came for me for... Okay, apparently uh, Oleg's not helping us. But Omen Killer's down already. Now I'm going to swap over to Magic Glint Blade. And we're going to help Oleg finish off the flower. He's already nearly got him half dead anyway. And there we go. Boss fight completed. As if that wasn't one of the easiest boss fights we've ever had to do. Thanks, Oleg. Good job, buddy. I'll pay out. Very, very easy. Um, now, you could teleport back out, but we're actually going to fast travel to the Altus Highway Junction. Let's go. All right, and once we're here, um, we are heading sort of uh, north up this road and we're gonna find a camp full of ogres. Let's go take them out. Nebula works really well, so make sure you've swapped over to Wing of Astel. And just in here, there's going to be a camp with a couple of ogres and then another ogre. That is our plan for now. Alright, where are you, mate? Where is he? Okay, this is interesting. Hang on a second. There, there's one. My shield ready just in case. Not gonna be able to sneak up on him. Has he found me? Yes, he has. Ogre, I mean, Nebula. And Nebula. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, bullshit. That's it. That's it. Oh, that was close. I'm a bit rusty, as I said. Uh, but we dealt with him. Now, there should be another ogre here somewhere. And some loot. He must be a bit further into the camp. Ah, there they are. I went to the wrong the wrong two. Okay, normally I take those two on first. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can get a uh, backstab on this ogre that's not asleep. And then some nebulas to finish them both off. That's the plan. 
So backstab, nebula, nebula, probably. Maybe even a third nebula, let's see. God, can I sneak around or not? Yep. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Nebula. Nebula. Oops, I went the wrong way with the nebula. That should still work. Yeah, there we go. Easy, you get a free refill there too, I forgot to mention. Perfume bottle. Um, okay, then we've got to go west. And there should be a tent. Hang on, west from up that hill though. So normally I go up there, then I look to the west. And, oh yeah, there's that campsite. This little campsite here. That's our next point of call. Grab some loot here. Ah, it's just turtleneck meat, Aussie. What did you put that in the bloody notes for? Okay, and then we go east until we hit the road again. Get on our horse. Uh, east, follow north to the finger eater. Yep. Where's the road? There's the road. Hey, that's Brother Corrin. Uh, let me just check the map. We want to go all the way up here. Let's go. Don't think he's got anything new for us. Alright, all the way up the road, uh, where we take out the zombies? Yeah, why not? Why not have a bit of fun along the way? Oh, they're not zombies, they're oh, normal guards. Even better. Oops, wrong button. Ah, 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 rusty, rusty, no fair. No fair, I wasn't ready. Oh my god. Whoo, at least I got him. Woo, 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 woo. So rusty. Alright, filling up everything. Yeah, I meant that. I couldn't even get off the bloody horse then. Oh my god, alright. I'm no good playing more than one game at a time, but because Elden Ring... So normally I like to just make one guide at a time, make one... Play one game at a time, and it just sort of... I'm, I'm much better that way. Because um, I suck at remembering the buttons when I'm mixing up the games. But uh, I pressed a lot of uh, Sniper Elite 5 buttons just then. I just recorded the first five missions of Sniper Elite in the last two days, so... That's why this has happened. Anyway, let's talk to the finger reader. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if any of this matters with the finger reader guy, but I always talk to him. So, once again, if I do it in practice runs, I do it here. To the east. Okay. No, not sorrow. No. Tis a curse. A curse. The curse of Queen Marika. <laughs> we actually are going back to Brother Corrin in a second, but uh, we have to do something beforehand. All right, now, head over to this campsite. Grab lump of flesh, and then we're going to head over to the bridge. See, when I accidentally crouch like that, that's because that's the sprint button in Sniper Elite 5. Um, which I'm having a lot of fun with, by the way. If you haven't checked out that walkthrough, it's already live on the channel, so go check it out. Uh, the first mission or two should be uploaded by the time you're hearing this. And we're going to go over to this merchant. Hey, you here as a customer? Yes, mate. Yes, we are going to purchase all the stone sword keys if we can afford them. We never have too many of those. I want the cookbook. Yes, please. 
And I think that is all we want from him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm afraid I've very little to offer. Okay, that's fine, mate. And then we are going to just um, activate this side of Grace, but we don't really need to be here right now. Well, we do, because we're going to fast travel back here a little bit later. But for now, uh, we're going to use this teleporter. It's going to take us to... What's it called? Uh, anyway, take, take the teleporter. And then we want to head to the south. And we're going to see, at the end of the bridge, this gold mask guy. He is linked to that uh, to Brother Corrin. Have we already met him? I can't actually remember if we've met him before. So have a chat to this fella. So it's a very riveting conversation, let's say. But we found him. So now we're going to go and report that to Brother Corrin. We're just going to grab this loot. Not that I need it. And then we're going to fast travel back to the highway junction... And then we're going to run up and see Brother Corrin. That's the plan. Let's go. Alright. Where were we? we, we, we. Alright. Uh, back on the horse. And let's go see Brother Corrin. What time of day is it? Oh, it's still morning. That's good. Oh, can I get the buttons right on these guys? Let's see. Yeah, cop that, and that, and that, yeah. That was basically just me practicing some buttons, guys. <laughs> Hate feeling rusty. Anyway, uh, get rid of the uh, beacon, and say good day to brother. You appear to be doing Yo, bro. Very good. Yes, I'm doing well. Would you like to learn an incantation? Uh, not particularly. But I would like to tell you the noble gold mask's whereabouts. Do, do you sport with me? Does that mean do I am, am I joking? No, I'm not joking. It can be no other than the gold mask himself. That's right. Of course, I found him. Of course, I knew he would be close. Yeah, by. yeah, you're close, mate. Yes, Just go up the hill, all the way to the end of the bridge. Oh, and then use the teleporter. My sincerest thanks. Ah, you're welcome, buddy. No worries, wheelhead. Order shine through you. Oh. Hope not. And from there, we are going to fast travel back to the uh, last side of Grace we just activated. Oh, I didn't know I still had that there. Anyway, back to the forest spanning Great Bridge. And I'm going to force the game to save by passing time here. Okay, now this next section can get a little bit confusing. I'm just going to place a mark there, a marker there, and then a marker back over here somewhere. And I'll explain those sort of as we get to them, but just, um, hang on, I'll open that up. Just take note of where they are. Uh, it can get a little confusing. I'm going to hop on to my horse just to make this drop. And then we're going to take out these guys. Alright, and grab some loot. And then I gotta remember how are we dropping down here? Um do I drop over across there? Yeah, I think so. Alright, we're gonna get back on our horse again. Jump over here. Boop, 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 boop. And then I don't wanna drop back down there because we don't wanna die. We're gonna drop down. Here. You gotta be careful where you choose to drop here. I'm just checking. Oh, what's that? Uh, maybe we get that later. Uh, drop down this way. Oh, yeah, worm faces. Let's get magic glint blade. And. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see how many we'll need. Four should be more than enough in case one misses. Might be another worm face dude around here. Where is he? Hang on, what do my notes say about that? Um, I was meant to get more loot and some guards before the worm face. I might have gone the wrong way. Who cares? 
let's just deal with this. Where's that loot that was here? Oh, that was just dropped by the worm face. I can hear another worm face. Where is he? Can you guys hear that? There's one. We'll go take him out. Ah, oh, there's two of them. Alright. Be very, very sneaky. And... Another four. And then I'm going to give four to the other one. Oh, he nearly got me, didn't he? Refill my FP. And I get a free refill. Perfect timing. Okay, then... Okay, we're going to go to the side of Grace first, I think. Uh, which should be just over here. Should be able to see it. Oh, there's another worm face. And this guy. Yeah, you run away, you. Alright, let's get four more here. Excellent. Um, now I just need to get my... Oh boy, I've gone way further north than I was planning. I'm going to put a fourth marker somewhere around there because that's roughly where the site of Grace is. Um, and there might be some more enemies down this way and some loot. Yeah, grab the loot under here. Let's just grab that while we're here. Oh, what was that? I was not ready for you guys. All right, you guys can have some uh, pebbles. All right, heading for that fourth marker. We should find a side of grace somewhere down here. Oh, what's that over there? Another worm face though first. All right, we're gonna drop down there on the horse just to make sure we don't die. Worm face. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Haha, <laughs> you missed me. Oh, will kill this one and the guard with him. Oh, they're fighting each other. Perfect. I'm going to kill the worm face first because that death stuff is deadly. Ha, <laughs> Pun intended. All right. Took the worm face out and the guard out. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, what'd you drop, mate? What'd you drop? Hmm. Straight sword. What do you do? All right, let's go find this grace. It should be called the Bower of Bounty. Not Tower, Bower. I see it. I see the lights. I see the light. And here we go. Oh, more worm faces down there. I'm not going to rest here, actually, guys. I'm just going to discover it. And I'm going to go take care of the worm faces. -es. Just to clear the area a bit more. So, four uh, glint blades each. Oh, and the ball there has a somber five. So, we might actually use glint blades on the ball first. Let's get three of those. And then four on this guy. Use FP. Yep, yeah, we got the smithing stone. And then four on this guy. And four on the other guy. Should clear everything up. Hey, 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 hey. None of that. And we've got another refill. Another two over there. But I'm just going to grab the loot that they dropped. And then I'll eventually get to why I made all these markers. But we're just clearing out all the worm face. Worm faces. -es. Just so we can run around here a bit easier. Alright, four for you. And four for you. But I think I'm going to run out of... Yeah, I ran out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, obviously, three gets the job done, but I do four just in case. All right, another three refill. I should have healed before that, but anyway. Okay, where are we? Are we ready? Um, so, there is a tower puzzle here, and you need to... Hang on, from the side of grace. Where's the side of grace gone? Got lost again, didn't I? Where is it? Hold a sec. Where am I? Bloody hell, I'm getting lost pretty easy in this one. Um, from the side of Grace, the tower, I think I marked the tower. Yeah, I did mark the tower. That's number one. 
Now, if you go there, you won't actually be able to see the tower. You have to solve a puzzle in order for the tower to appear. And we're going to solve the puzzle before we go to the tower. So there's the side of grace. Excellent. I'm just going to get rid of this beacon. From the side of grace, we're going to go southeast. Up here. And if you go to the tower, um, it'll tell you you've got to... Uh, I can't remember what it says. But basically what you've got to do is find three seals and break the seals in order to reveal the tower. So we're going to go to the southeast and we're going to break the first seal. Up these rocks here. Up, up, up. And up a little bit more and find this funny shaped rock here and it's got a bit of a green glow around it. Hit the rock. And then touch the seal, the phantom I think it's called. All right, and while I'm here, I'm just going to grab the golden sunflowers as well. Yum, yum, yum. All right, we've got the Somber 5. I normally do the Somber 5 next, but we've already got that. Um, we're going to go... Uh, what? Oh, worm face. Okay, there was more worm face. That's all right. And we're going to go to the west to the next one. So where I've put number two, we're going to next. All right. And there may be a worm face on the way, but we're going for marker number two. Just collecting a few goodies on our way. Did I see some loot here? Something dropped. A smithing stone five, probably from one of the worm faces that I took down. Anyway. There may be a worm face on the way. I can't remember if we already got him or not. This is loot that's always there. Golden Rune 3. And there's the worm face I was talking about. Alright. Let's give him... Whoa! What are you doing up there, mate? Just avoid the death. The deadly death. Ah! Alright. We got him. He may have used a few too many. Doesn't matter. Let's continue. You can see the phantom already. Now, if there's any um, spirits that spawn in around the area, guys, I don't know if it ha Yeah, there they are. Don't worry about them. As soon as you deal with the uh, seal here, they will disappear. Haha, uh -huh, missed me. Game, don't make... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, don't make me out to be a liar game. All right, got that done. We've done the second phantom. And... We can go to where I made my first marker now. I'm just looking for worm faces... On the way here, we'll get on horseback. I can hear something. Grab these sunflowers. I can hear another worm face. Where is he? There he is. All right, let's deal with him. Michaela's Lily and some butterflies. Now, I have had uh, one or two comments. One in particular about the fact that I explain things too much for people. Um, I, I'm, I'm probably just going to continue being me, guys. I do appreciate any feedback, though, and take it all on board. Um, and I probably, am, I probably am explaining things a little too much for people that have already, you know, sort of followed along. Uh, by the way, we're going to marker number one where the tower's meant to be now. You can read the little clue here. Touch three phantom crests. Okay, that's all it says. And here is our third fa phantom crest. So the first one's right at the tower, but we're doing it last. And the tower appears right in front of our eyes. And in we go. And we are going to go inside and up a ladder. I'm just putting my lantern on. So yeah, I mean, I'm try I'll try not to dumb it down too much, but my whole purpose of this guide was for people that aren't maybe aren't good at these sorts of games to be able to follow and I was just trying to make it as easy as possible. But yeah, definitely give me some feedback, guys, if you think I talk too much, because that's what some of the comments have said. Uh, but I know that some people do appreciate it too and don't want the big silences that some other videos have on other channels. So I'm a bit torn, but I think at the end of the day, while also trying to learn and get better, I'll also still just be me. I can't really be anyone else. So there we go. But I do want all the feedback because it just helps. Um, and open up the chest and we get two new spells that the unseen form is actually pretty cool. But 
I don't end up really needing it. So I probably won't be using it in the walkthrough, but unseen form is really cool. You can um, sort of disappear with that. Okay, now that we've got all that, we're gonna fast travel back to the same side of grace that we came to just a moment, not the one that we just found, but the one we sort of started at for this little run, the forest spanning great bridge. Let's go. And again, I'm just making the game save by passing time. All right, back on Torrent. This time I'm gonna go back across the uh, broken bridge. I'm just putting my lantern back on again as well. It's still a bit dark here. I'm gonna ignore these guards. We're heading north and we might, oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. Oop, um, and we may come across some of the worm faces that we've already killed, so I probably won't bother with them. But we're gonna continue to head north. Um, we're going to fight some more bosses. That's our main plan. So continue to head north until we come across another golden seed. I'm going to ignore that worm face. Ignore these two. Um, this one here has some loot next to him. I'm just going to grab the loot. It's just a lump of flesh. God damn it. And we're going to go north and look for a golden seed. There it is. And what I'm going to do is stop here. And if any of the worm faces are following me, we're going to take them out. Um, I'm going to test this by opening the map. Nope, I can't open the map, so that's perfect. From this golden seed, we're actually going to look to the southeast and we're going to go take on a boss uh, worm face. So that's the plan here. We've got the golden seed. How many golden seeds do we have? Oops, wrong button. Wrong uh, page, I mean. Five. Okay, we should be able to upgrade our flasks or have we done the final one? I can't remember where we're at with that. Anyway, we're going to head to the southeast and when we get there, we're just going to use magic glint blades again. It's nice and simple. We might do it on horseback though. So let's put our staff in our right hand. I think we can do it by horseback. Now, where is he? I'm gonna remember. Ah, uh, there's a golden skull. Uh, glowing skull, I mean. Where is he? I can hear him. That's not the boss one, but I'm gonna take him out anyway. Maybe that is, no, that's not the boss, is it? No, that's a normal one. Ooh, ooh, what are you doing here? There's the boss one. Let's just see if we can get this guy. What was he? Ah, Ash of War Golden Slam. Why is that not in my notes? Oh, it is. Whoops. Um, I'm just going to see if this is the worm face that I'm looking for. I think I missed him. Yeah, I did miss him. Hang on. There's meant to be a bigger worm face around here somewhere. Where is he? Hang on. That's not him either. That's not him. I've skipped ahead of my notes here. I swear there was a boss worm face here somewhere. So that's where the golden seed is. And then after that, you go inside the ruins. All right, I'm missing something. Wait, is that him over there? No, that's a tree. Wait a minute. Hello, worm face! Ooh, glowing skull, yum, yum, yum. All right, I'm gonna speed up the video until I find this uh, worm face, or skip the video ahead, guys, and then I'll show you on the map where we find him, but I'll probably have to show you the map after we, wait, is that him? That's, nope, that's just ruins. All right, I'll show you on the map after we kill him. Okay, guys, actually, I don't, I didn't need to really skip that. We're going to go over here because I just remembered he's closer to this um, tree. Get rid of that. So we'll just find where I've put that marker and we'll go find this uh, worm face boss. He's meant to be near the tree here somewhere. That's what I was forgetting. We already got the uh, ball thing. We're not worried about any of that. There he is. There he is. All right, let's get him. Ooh, fill up your FP as needed. Worm face, you're going down. Oh, I might take out one of these guys too. Take out worm face, come on. Oh, 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 don't get me, Guardian. None of that. That's not fair. Worm face is nearly done. Come on. 
We're in face, you gotta die now. My um stamina was a trouble causing a problem there. Alright, and I'm gonna take out some of these uh guardian looking dudes. We get some extra tears for our physic. And take out these guys. Alright, we already got the um if you haven't already, find that um Dung Beetle Ball Thingamajiggy with the Ash of War Golden Slam. Now, we may have just seen that there was a bunch of bloody uh, slug things. If I get off the horse, get rid of this marker, and in here I'm going to get Pebble. And take out these slug things that tried to drop in on me. Hey! Uh, 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 uh. Bloody spat at me, you dirty bugger. Alright, deal with them. Grab this loot here. The cookbook, that is always there, obviously. Is that another slug thing? Yep. Hey, let me lock on. Wrong button. Alright, we got all that. We got the Ash of War. We got the cookbook. And now we're going to go from here to the northeast um, ruins. So, somewhere around there should be that Ash of War dung beetle. Oh, there's another sluggy thing. Rusty at all. Uh, there might be another worm face around if we haven't already taken him out. There'll be more slugs. There they are. And then, um, what do I call slugs anyway? Oh, I can hear you. Hey, 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 no spitting at me. That's dirty. Oh, there's the worm face. Let's, um, hang on a minute. Oh, shit. Hang on. You, go away. I want to take on the worm face with some of these. Oh no, that's the wrong button. Hey, none of that. Where's worm face? Oh boy. All right, at least he hasn't seen me yet, I suppose. All right, here we go. A couple of these. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. At least I got him with the um, flint blades. And then I'll finish these guys off with pebbles. That shield is always there. The icon shield, always there. And I can't remember what this is. Hey, it's just gravel stone, that's why. Finish off the uh, rest of the sluggy things. Get that off my screen. I got the free refill, which means everyone's dead, I think. Okay, that was good. Um, is there meant to be two worm faces? Or is that over here? We're gonna go south from here. Aren't we? Yes, we're going south. There might be some more slugs, apparently. I can see the worm faces that we're taking on next, so let's get Glint Blade ready. Or is it those two? I think it's these two. Let's take out these two next. Another free refill. And just some loot there. Uh, some more worm faces if we go further south. Oh, and the slugs. Okay. Uh, let's go. Take them out. What do you guys hide? Oh, one more. What are you guys hiding? Soft cotton, whoop de doo Oh, another one. And another one. And another one. And then there should be some more worm faces. Where are they? Where are they? I can hear them. Are they around here? There's bloody sin Oh, there's a few over there. We don't need to worry about them. We'll keep going this way. There's some more loot to get over here. Let's grab this. Okay. Oh, and... Where, um... Where are the stairs down? It must be over here. Alright, so I'll show you where we are. We're still heading through all these, um... Ruins, we sort of started the north end. We're heading all the way through to the south. There might be worm faces up here. 
Yeah, there they are. All right, let's take them on. Quite a few of them. Uh, four for you. Four for you. I thought I saw something off this side, but... Feels like I am safe here. Are they all dead? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another two. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, you, cop that. Uh oh, refill. Oh, that was close. And your buddy. Some random loot here. Alright, if we head downstairs, should be a door and a chest. Yum, yum, yum. Wrath of Gold uh, Incantation or whatever you call it. And we're going to go back up. And we need to head south from here. Oh, one of them dropped something as well. Some more poop, <laughs> basically. Uh, okay, so heading to the south once we're back out. And if we just check the map... We're going to find this tunnel here. That's where we're headed next. And we're going to go take out this, uh, clear out this tunnel and fight the bosses at the end. Bosses, yes, I said bosses. Oh, I guess we're heading more west than anything. My notes... Oh, hang on. There it is. There it is. What was that I just saw, though, that I just ran past? I saw something just here. Oh, it was just a golden glowing skull calling them golden. Oh, and may as well grab the golden sunflowers. I think we need them for some crafting thing later, but we've probably got way more than we need anyway. Alright, heading inside, making sure you've got your lantern on so we can see what we're doing. We go... We're going to just use the elevator. I don't think there was any um, secrets we need on the side of the elevator. Or like on the way down, if you know what I mean. And we're going to rest at the side of Grace, replenish everything, reset everything. And we're going to clear this area out before we finish the video and get another boss fight completed. Um, oh, yeah, and that's... Uh, we can add a charge to our flask while we're here. Yes, please. Yum, yum, yum. Um, what charge have we got? I don't need five healing, so we're going to put five and eight. I mean, I don't need more than five. I probably don't even need five. Because you're sticking with Ozzy, and he won't let you down, remember? Um, now, I can't level up yet. Not even close, so I'm going to pass time. Okay, and we're going to get our pebble ready. Uh, but we're also going to get our morning star ready because there might be uh, miners that we're going to deal with in here and the best weapon is anything with strike or well, not anything but our best strike weapon um, and in this first room though we're going to find a little uh, pesty little enemy uh, is my, my lantern gone off it has god damn it game stop doing that alright in here not that guy not that guy this guy we're just going to pebble him and then we're going to do a backstab. Oh, wrong weapon. There we go. Backstab. Morning star. See ya, mate. You're dead. And inside the chest, we should have... Wait. Yeah, a rune arc. Another rune arc. Replace one I actually... I had to use an extra rune arc earlier. I don't know if anyone noticed the, an edit earlier in the video. I might have died and tried to hide it from you guys. Uh, only because I want the experience to be smoother. I do die. I do have more trouble than it appears sometimes in my videos. Anyway, we've got the chest. We've got the smithing stone five. And we're going to go out. And there should be another miner out here. Where is he? That's him there. I'm just going to do a charge attack. Bada bing. Bada boom. Oh, and we've got some of these snail things. So we've got our pebble ready. Now, they are... Are they through here? Uh, no, they're in a different room. Oh, there. There. Okay, get the snails. Uh, 
Oh shit, one hiding behind there. Cheeky bugger. Crystal darts and pick up all these goodies. Yum, 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 yum. Anything else of value here? It doesn't look like it. Oh. A mage? There's a mage? Okay, through here. Hang on, there's some of those pesty enemies. Those little flying marionette things. I can't remember what their actual name. I think they're marionette. Some type of marionette thing. Uh, up there. Up there. Up there. That's who I want to take out first. They're the more sort of... Should be three of them. So there's two. There's the third one up there. And he's got a mage dude shooting stuff at us from up there as well. Ah! I'm trying to lock on up there. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Deal with him. Oh my gosh. Heal up. Okay. Good. Whew. That was uh, interesting. We can take out four of these miners that aren't paying any attention. One. Is there one behind me? Yep. Now I'm just going to... Um, Leave the smithing stones for a second so that I make sure I show where each one is and we don't miss any. Backstab for you. I'm just going to clear the uh, enemies first. And then we should find five smithing stone... I mean, not five. Three smithing stone fives. So... One there underneath the, uh, whatchamacallit. One over where we killed one of these miners. Where's the third one? Just check, check the wall. Probably in here. Nope, right there. Where we killed another one of the miners. Okay, perfect. We got all three. And now we're going to go upstairs. There might be another one of these mage dudes hiding up here. Uh, is he here? Where is he? There he is. No, not up there. There. Ah, okay. If we could sneak up on him, we would, but otherwise we'd do that. Oh, and one of these dudes. Perfect! Okay. And there should be a Somber 5 uh, down here. That should be the Somber 5, where the uh, mage dude was. Nope, that's not it. Where's the Somber 5? Ozzy, your note said get the Somber 5. Oh, there it is. Is that a Somber? Yes, there it is, Somba 5. And we're going to drop back down. And we're going to turn to the south. Or is it more west, isn't it? No, it said south. Yeah, this path on the south. There we go. So not west, it's definitely south. And get ready for another snail. I'm going to just refill my FP. Just in case. Where are you, snail? Is he somewhere? There's a snail here. I know it is. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! Grab a golden rune seven. Now, we need to get onto this branch. So we're going to go over here. A bit scared about this drop. Hang on, we're going to drop onto the little tiny branch hanging off here. There we go. Going to grab that. Shoot that snail. Shoot this. Ah, whoops. Shoot that snail. And we should find some loot here somewhere. Where is it? Ah, yeah, behind there. Woo! Don't fall off. Yep, grab that. Then go back up onto the branch again. And head on up. Get us up to here. We're going to get a new talisman. Ah! Oh, I thought I was going to fall then. Grab this talisman, the Arsenal Charm plus one. So if we go into our equipment, see that we're using the normal Arsenal Charm. We are going to swap it for the plus one. It just raises our equipment load that little bit more. Excellent. And we are going to go back down here and back through the tunnel the way we came. And then we are going to go east this time. So we did the south path. Path. Now we're going to do the east path. Should be some more snails out here. 
smithing stone. I think it's another five. Yep. Another snail. Another whole heap of snails. Another one. Another one. Take out all the snails. Is that all of them? Oh, I missed one. Take that. And refill. Oh, I thought that I thought that guy was gonna get us for a second then. Um uh, Oh, 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 it's boss fight time. Just seeing if I can collect it. Oh, and a smithing stone behind here. I don't think that was in my notes, guys. Either I missed it in practice runs or I forgot to write it down. Anyway, it is boss fight time. Okay, we're gonna get the uh rock sling ready. But uh mostly we need the Morning Star and Oleg. He's going to do quite a number for us, uh, but Rock Sling works really well, and you can see through the door a little bit what we're fighting. Two Crystallians, I think they're called. All right, so get Oleg ready. As soon as we go in, wait, we'll take our Physic first. As soon as we go in, we'll unleash Oleg, and then we'll refill our FP uh, and try and get some space. If we have to be up close and personal, that's what the Morning Star's for. It works well on these guys, and if we've got space, we use Rock Sling. That is the plan. Let's do it. As soon as we go in, unleash our leg. Try and get space where we can. Alright, I'm just going to get some space here. Let Oleg fight one while we fight the other, hopefully. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm getting away. Oleg, get him! Alright, here we go. Create that space. This is not working too well, Roxling. But it, it's once once you break the poise like that, then Roxling will do more damage. There we go, see? Trying to get some space again here. Now I'm going to refill my FP again. And then we'll start rock slinging again. Yes, broke the poise. This should finish it off. And now we'll go help Oleg. Look at Oleg though. He's doing more damage than he's receiving. And from here we should be able to finish it off pretty easy. And that's it. No damage rat run on the two crystallians. We get this somber stone miner spell bearing too. Very important uh, for buying smithing stones and the like. We are, uh, you can teleport back out. Um, there's nothing else that I want to get here in the cave. We though are going to fast travel to the forest spanning great bridge because that's where I want to start the next video. Pardon the interruption guys, but I just wanted to let you know that it takes a hell of a lot of work to make these guides and walkthroughs that I make on my channel. I need all the support I can get from you bloody legends out there. So please hit the join button to become a member of my YouTube channel, or you can join my Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash AussieGamer17. Thanks for the help, you bloody legends. I feel like that was a pretty good run, guys. We got some bosses killed. What was it? Three boss bosses in total, or four if... No, five if you count that... Two of the boss fights were duos. So, awesome guys. Hope you find this series helpful still. If you're still watching all the way to part 93, I got a special announcement and that is, this series is going to be a total, I mean this is could change, but a total of 130 parts. Can you believe that? So we've still got, what, 37 to go, does that mean? And it's uh, lots of fun, There's lots of fun still to come guys. So many cool things still to come in the game. Can't wait for you to see it. Uh, please post a comment and, of course, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate all the support. There's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.